So one of the things I wanted to talk to you today about was YouTube. YouTube channel. Why does this YouTube channel exist? You know, if you're if you're not monetizing, if you're not really advertising, you're just, you know, hashtagging certain things and you don't care about views and you just want, you know, a handful of friends to see it and maybe somebody who might be interested in what you're doing overseas sees it and that's fine and that's great. But basically, I feel that YouTube channels are and a lot of people are just documenting their lives as sort of a a headstone, you know, like a cemetery. And I know it sounds weird, but maybe it's sort of a living memorial and it's a real time living memorial in that, you know, and there's no, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to die anytime soon, uh, but you never know. And uh, it's just nice to have your thoughts, your art, your ideas and whatnot on video in an easy, easily accessible way so that everyone can see it because you live out loud. And when I say you live out loud, I mean I live out loud. And I, I don't mind that. Sometimes it's a little scary and sometimes I pull back and I get, you know, upset and raw, and the raw feelings that I have. You know, perhaps there's other issues involved. Um, undiagnosed such and such from years ago, back in the 80s. You know, when kids had emotional problems, it was like, um, you know, they try to treat it with drugs, more heavy, heavy on, you know, the uh, antidepressants and things. They really were pushing that back in the day. But there was not um, a lot of research into, you know, behavior and things like that that was relevant to what's going on today. So a lot of folks uh, have suffered over the years with un undiagnosed issues. And my wife always tells me, you gotta get a diagnosis so you know what, so you don't get fired from your job, you know, um, for being a weirdo. So I don't know, I thought being a weirdo was okay nowadays. Um, it seems like it is, and that's a good thing. And I like that. That's why I applaud and I am an ally with all um, people who view themselves as, as different in any way. Um, so that's why I wanted to talk to you about um, uh, insurance here. No, I wanted to talk to you about this is my last will and testament. It needs to be updated because um, I've grown a few appendages. You know, I've got an extra thumb now. I don't know if you know that, but I have an extra thumb here. I'll show it, show it to you right there. Yeah, so I need to, like, update my will. And, uh, you know, but that's this is what the... For me, you know, why am I doing this? Why are you doing this? Hey, you know, it's embarrassing. You know, that is one thing that people feel like this is embarrassing when you really look at it. And people who make, uh, who are YouTubers, you know, might cringe at their earlier videos as I do. But I'm like, this is, this happened. This is what I did. And I felt the need to, I felt like a strong urge to put it out there, you know, because I could, because now everyone has their own channel. You know, as a, someone who was involved with public access years ago, that was the only way you could sort of, oh, I have an idea, let me see. And then you work out a project, and then you're like, I'm going to, you know, publish it on public access. You know, there was no other before, like, about 90, you know, in the 90s, late 90s, until the, the Internet. I've been a YouTuber since 2009. And it was only because I wanted to watch YouTube videos and, and I was curious. And then I decided, well, I could also post a couple things. I've got some neat things. And then that's how it started there. But to me, I think the YouTube ultimately uh, channels are um, for just as a memorial. Uh, you can, you know, people pull apart videos to make memorial videos for YouTubers. I think the idea to try to make money uh, doing this, you know, is fine. I know, I know there's YouTube millionaires, you know, but like what, what else did you do? What else you got? What do you got? You know, if you're living a life that's pretty sheltered and you're making millions of dollars and you're 19 years old, which seems old in the TikTok world now, 19, you know, I'm 54 years old. I could give a fuck about that whole thing. And, you know, if you know anything about TikTok, you know that it's a Chinese owned kind of a, a CCP uh, situation there and what is YouTube I don't know that's probably owned by some you know um, unsavory uh, international company even though it's you know made in America which it's probably not because a lot of that stuff is just kind of like sketchy a lot of the top corporate um, companies and entities um, 
you know, do a lot of things that are against, you know, my beliefs. But here I am because this is the, uh, the platform. But this is my idea is just to put out what I have. Hey, this would be cool. I remember making mixed tapes for people, and that's like, okay, yeah, going down the road here. But when you make a mixed tape, it was, I'm putting my heart and soul into, I think you should listen to this, man. Or when you're at somebody's house when we were kids, I've got this record. It's a Temptations record. Papa was a Rolling Stone, you know, and I'd play that for my friends. It was my mom's record. I'd be like, you got to hear this. You got to hear this. And that's like some people think that and then people get a little out of control like oh this is the best part listen you know and you've seen spoofs on that but i think ultimately it's uh not a vanity thing it's it's a you know uh, um you feel like uh compelled to share you know and that's i don't know like again maybe that's just some uh unresolved issue or problem that i never addressed in, a, in the mental health uh, situation, but um, this is basically me talking, letting people know so that maybe in a few years after I'm gone, or you know, maybe a lot of years, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, that they could see and know that I was a person, you know. Um, I'm not going to have a cemetery, I'm not going to have a headstone, here lies Christopher Edwin Clark. You know, and I, I do like this because my name is very fancy, and I like like fancy fonts, so it makes me look a lot more important than I feel. But this is the last will and testament of Christopher Clark. I'm not, I'll spare you with the details, but let's just say that um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to clean up my mess now so that later you don't have to uh, throw it in the garbage. But I understand. 